how to deal with negative reviews and the hate that will inevitably come your way, no matter how big and how awesome you grow your restaurant. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they wanna go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 588. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and today we're talking about something that every one of us get daily, weekly, monthly, and annually, negative reviews and hate. The keyboard warriors are in full force. Probably the only negative thing out there tied to the internet that we didn't have to deal with 20 years ago is the fact that anybody and everybody can throw something your way. This podcast was encouraged because a really good friend of mine texted me yesterday a link to a review in a Facebook group, got him a little bit out of shape, and he's like, man, what do I got to do to get over this hump? And I'm like, you're going to keep getting more and more of it. Get used to it. What you got to do is stomach it and know one thing. People above you do not throw hate. And it's ironic because about five or six hours ago, I'm on Instagram, and I come across the reel of a young man being interviewed by his dad. This kid's probably 16. And the dad is talking about how this young man came up with a new idea that he's doing one mile an hour for 24 hours. And he actually had just finished three miles his first hour because his goal is to do a marathon in one day. Pretty damn cool. I'm actually going to do it now. A couple of us have committed to do it in a couple of weeks. And sure enough, you scroll through there and there's one jackass that says, and there's probably more, but the one I found right away, what's the big deal? You're going to run 26 miles in 24 hours. I just did it and he put his marathon time. I'm like, man, what the hell's wrong with people? This dad is promoting his son who's doing something really cool. Could all of us throw some number out of how much more money we make or how much faster we are, or how much stronger we are? That just shows how weak you actually are when you do that shit. And I can reflect on it because I've done it. And I think back to when I would clap back like that at people with maybe my accomplishments or who I am. You know what? Who gives a shit? At the end of the day, we're all trying to accomplish something and we're all going to fail. We're all going to have scars, whether it's a physical scar that you actually see or it's a scar in your memory of something you did wrong. But at the same time, you're doing a lot of really, really good stuff. This particular restaurant that got a little hate in a Facebook group has a love, a love affair by their clients. They're going to have a thousand very satisfied clients to every 10 to 20 unsatisfied clients. That is part of the game. I don't care if you're Ferrari, if you're Rolls Royce, if you're Danny Meyer in Shake Shack, if you're McDonald's. No matter how many times you do it, at what volume you do it, at what quality you think you are at, you're always going to have haters. You're always going to have somebody that's not happy. And honestly, in 2024, a lot of it's complete bullshit because all it is is people hiding behind a keyboard. They're faceless. There's a lot of fake names out there. It's one of the reasons AmericasBestRestaurants.com will not have reviews. Go ahead and mark it down. We'll never have consumer reviews because if we find a restaurant that we believe is doing it right and is independently owned and operated, they will make their mark on America's Best Restaurants for their name and what they're doing, not for what a consumer thinks. But the hardest part of being an entrepreneur is that punch in the stomach. I get it every week. We have 19 people in our sales department talking to restaurants, attempting to talk to restaurants every week. And every week, somebody claps back somewhere about what we're doing. They don't like it. It costs money. It costs too much money. Blah, blah, blah. We're all going to get that. We have to realize we're on a path and realize with all the positive comes the negative. And you got to be able to look at that negative review and comment and smile. And maybe even when you see it in a Facebook group that somebody says, 
I think XYZ over restaurant is overrated. Maybe pop in there and say, well, I think opinions are overrated. Smiley face. Hey, enjoy pizza restaurant down the street. Here's four of the ones I like just like you might. Have fun with it. Doesn't always have to be you defending yourself. Doesn't always have to be you being upset. Understand it comes with the territory because if you weren't doing big shit, you wouldn't get shit from little people. See ya. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners, and you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.